What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I'm Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how Luton stay up in the Premier League this year. Before we do get into the video, please make sure to like the video, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel. Go and follow the TikTok and the Instagram, Daniel Talks Football on both. Right, Luton are about to make their Premier League debut. They finished third in the Championship and ended up beating Coventry on penalties in the EFL Championship playoff final they're going to need to try and keep costs down with their possible new stadium on the way because they might not even be allowed to play in the premier league at kenil Kenil kenningworth i think that's it kenningworth road um they're going to play a 3-5-2 system as they have been all year under their new manager but who are they going to need to sign we're going to have a look at that in this video now it's quite difficult to figure out the contract situation with luton as a lot of their contracts aren't actually in the public eye to be able to sort of talk about so I'm just going to have to have a look at the players and decide if they're going to stay or if they're going to need to leave. And we'll get straight in there with goalkeeper. Now, I'm not planning on keeping Ethan Horvath, who has been on loan at Luton from Nottingham Forest. However, he could be a good option if I if Luton can't get who I think they should be getting. I think Loris Karius would be an excellent option for Luton. I know you're going to laugh, but he looked solid for Newcastle in the League Cup playoff final. And after not playing football... For so long, I think he would jump at the chance to play football consistently in the Premier League. He could come in on fairly cheap wages, you know, maybe 20, 30 grand a week, which isn't much for a Premier League club. And a season of Premier League football is something he would happily take for that kind of price, I think. People forget he was actually fairly decent for Liverpool before that Champions League final, the one where obviously he made a couple of big mistakes. However, I think he'd be an excellent option this summer. And with his contract expiring this summer, you know, a bag of Walker's crisps would cost more than him up front. So I think Lois Carries would be an excellent, excellent option if you could get that done. Moving into centre-back now, and I think Lockyer should stay. I think he should start the season as their centre-back. He's their club captain. And obviously, since, you know, what happened in that playoff final, I think he's going to have a lot of fight. I think the fans are going to believe in him. So I think Lockyer should stay. And I also think Osho could be a good backup player. So I think four centre-backs are needed for this 3-5-2 system. Two starters two backups the first one of these starters is nathaniel phillips now he hasn't played for liverpool all season but we all know how good he was in that spell with liverpool when he played next to urzan kabak when they had no centre backs. And I think he would be an excellent option for Luton this summer. He's got Premier League experience already and could possibly be brought for maybe 10 million from Liverpool. Don't think he would cost that much, obviously, because you know he hasn't played and Liverpool do need money this summer. It's not the first player, it's not the last so player I'm going to be buying from Liverpool. I think there's a lot of Liverpool players that I could see making this move this summer. Um just simply because I think they're the kind of players Luton wants to be looking for. I am going for an English call here. I think Luton do have a lot of English players at the moment, and I think that could be key to sort of keeping them up in the league. A lot of English, mostly experienced Premier League players is kind of what I'm going through. Obviously, I've got a couple of other players dotted in here, but I think English and experience is the way to keep them up. And even if then they don't stay up, you know, somebody like Nat Phillips would happily go down to the Championship with Luton. So I think he is the first one I want to be bringing in. The second one is probably one who wouldn't go down to Championship with them. It's Arta Tiat. Um, I think you could sign him for around 20 million this summer and he's been excellent for Vaughan all season. This Luton side do need to sign a lot of players. So when they are going to be spending big money, you know, anything above sort of 15 million, they do need to make sure they're getting it right. And I think that Tiata would be getting it right. I think it would be an excellent signing. If you can get it done, do it. You've seen him in a lot of these videos and he still hasn't been picked up. So until he gets picked up, I'm going to keep mentioning him. The next one is Shane Duffy. Now, his contract has expired at Fulham or will be expiring in around a month's time. And he hasn't played much this season for them. But I do think he'll be an experienced head in the dressing room with Premier League experience, which will be key for this Luton side. I think a cheap deal, you know, one year, two year contract. He wouldn't cost much at all. It works for all parties. Um, and yeah, I think that's a deal that they need to get done. So Shane Duffy, just get him through the door. It's cheap. It's easy. Doesn't cost you much. And yeah get it done and then last but not least Jake Hooper is the final centre back I'm recommending he's been very very good for Millwall this year um, he's another guy whose contract is up in this summer of 2023 I think he'll be a very good option for this Luton side he's actually one of two Millwall players I've got on this list um, you know they might need to up their security around them if they're moving from Millwall to Luton because I have a feeling that probably wouldn't go down great with the Millwall fans um, but hey I think if they can get it done I think it'll be an excellent move for for Cooper and for Luton, he would offer more experience in that side. You know, he's not particularly young, I think he's 28. Um, so while he wouldn't be, you know, he doesn't have that Premier League experience, he, again, is another player that if you were to go down, he could take down to the Championship with you. And I think he would be a very, very good, solid option for that dressing room and 
that fourth centre back to rotate in and out, rotate in and out when needed. Next up, and um, uh, we move to right back now. First, what right back I want is uh, Drama. Now, there's lots of competition for Drama this summer. He's as he has been really, really good on loan for Luton, but I think him already being there does give him that edge. Obviously, he's been on loan from Leeds and he has been quality for them. I think 15 million it might cost, but I think it'll be an excellent deal if you could get it done on loan since January. He already knows Luton, and I think that is one thing that Forrest possibly failed with last summer. They didn't bring enough of those loan players back. You look at people like James Garner, like Keenan Davis. You know, these were players they should have been bringing back to the club. Jed Spence, if they could have done it as well. This is something, a mistake that I'm not going to make with Luton. And those key loan players that have been really, really good, you need to keep them at the football club. I think Cody Drama is the first one of these. Spend £15 million if you need to. Leeds would accept that and get him back to Luton for next season. Next up, it's McNamara. Again, another player leaving Millwall this summer on a free transfer. He's been solid for them. Um, somebody might try and kill him. I think that's a perfectly reasonable option. Um, but it would be an excellent transfer for Luton this summer. Again, to offer that competition for drama. McNamara has been really, really good for Millwall in the Championship. Is he a right wing back? I'm not so sure. But again, if you did want to change to a fullback at any point during the season, he would be able to offer you that. And I think for free, it would be a great, great option. So I think get it done. Left back, and for me, no left backs are needed as Bell and Doherty, I think you pronounce it, would be two good left backs. Um, I don't think you need to spend any money in that area, at least to start with. I'm not trying to sign every player under the sun here. I'm only trying to sign players where needed and I don't think you need any left backs here. Just move straight into the midfield with CDM. And at CDM, I'm only buying one player. I think Campbell could be a very capable backup to try and save some money here. CDM, the player I want, it's Nakamba. He's been excellent in his loan spell from Aston Villa. So again, I think you should go and buy him. I think Villa would let him go for maybe 5 to 10 million this summer. With Luton now being a Premier League side, it probably wouldn't have been able to that 10 million mark, but they're not going to want him. I can't imagine that Emery's going to look at him and think that's the kind of player I want in my side. He obviously already knows Luton and Luton love him. Villa don't want him and he'll be a good player in the Prem for Luton. I think get it done for 10 million. It's cheap and he already knows the club. So yeah, get it done. And then obviously Campbell as a backup before we move in to centre mid. Now again, it's only one centre mid that I'm signing. So I think Clark would be a good backup for this position slash a good you know rotation option. The centre mid I've gone for is Tom Davies. Now, he doesn't get much game time at Everton. And again, he will be available on a free transfer this summer. He's English and he's got that Premier League experience, having played in the Premier League for a long time now. It would shock people to know he's only 24. So, would be fairly young. He's got that Premier League experience. And I think he would be another player that if Luton were to go down, he would be willing to go down with them. Get him in on a contract for 20, 30 grand a week. And you definitely could take him back down to the Championship with you. Um... I think Clark would be a good backup here. And yeah, I think Davies as a midfielder would be an excellent option. Now we move into attacking midfielder. And you're going to have to hear me out here. Deli Alley. Right, right, right. Don't don't kill me, Luton fans. Don't kill me. Everton would let Deli Alley leave on a free transfer, okay? So no, no transfer fee involved. You get him feeling good again. But the key here is the contract you were given. Don't do what Forrest have done with Jesse Lingard and give him 200 grand a week. No, 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 no. 20 grand a week. I know. Daddy Ali's not going to accept 20 grand a week. Ah. But does he back himself to do well? If he does, then every goal or assist he gets, 40k. Immediately, you give him 40k. So there we go. If he gets a goal every week, he's on 60 grand a week. Then I think he accepts that a one year deal. And if you get him playing again, get him playing well again, then what's the harm in this? Because he's playing well and you're offering to pay more money. And if he's not playing well, you're, you're giving him 20 grand a week. It's the kind of deal I think would possibly work here. It incentivise him to do well. And hey, if it doesn't, then Deli Ali is a lost cause. And to be honest, he might already be. But what's the harm in trying? I think this Luton project is possibly they can take a couple of risks because, again, if they're low sort of value risks, then they go back down and they've been able to get that big influx of money into the club. Deli Auli would be an excellent, excellent signing if they could get him on that kind of deal. They incentivize him to play well. And if not, it's 20 grand a week. What's the, what's the harm in that? Then we move into striker. And 
I think they need two strikers. I think, you know, uh, Adbayo and Morris are two very good strikers, but I do feel like they need two strikers to rotate into that front trip too, so they can have four quality strikers to move into the Premier League. Adebayo isn't excellent, but Morris is a good striker and has scored a lot of goals in this year. So I think two strikers, two strikers is key. The first one of these is Gyokuras, and I think they should go and compound the misery on Coventry after beating them in the playoff final. 21 goals and 10 assists for Coventry in the league this season, so you can maybe get him for around 20 million, I think 15 to 20 million. He'd be a very, very good striker, and again, he's another player that if Luton were to go down, I think he would stay with this side in the Championship for a season or two, presuming obviously he didn't go on and do excellent in the Premier League. Then you would want that Premier League move, but then you would make money on him. I think 15 to 20 million for Gyokuras would be an excellent, excellent signing. Go and help Coventry out as well. You know, you've just stolen 120 million from them. Go and give them 20 million for their star player. Um, I think he'd be a great player if you could get it done. Um, a lot of players are interested, a lot of clubs are interested in them. Sorry, you know, clubs like the likes of Nottingham Forest, Crystal Palace, Bournemouth, those kind of clubs are interested. So go and get it done quickly. And then last but not least, the other strike we've gone for is actually Che Adams. Southampton obviously gone down to the Championship. And I think uh, Che Adams could be a really, really good option for Luton Town. He, it would be a good rotation option between him and possibly Morris, I think, for that second striking uh, slot alongside Gyokuras. He's a handy player. He's decent. He doesn't score loads of goals. But if you've got Gyokuras at top scoring them, Adams could, could potentially facilitate that. And I think it would be a really, really good option if you could get it. I think he would be picked up for around 10 15 million this summer. And for me, I think Coventry... Coventry, Luton should go and do it. Right, there we go. That's what I think Luton Town have to do to keep them up in the Premier League. Do I think that I would keep them up? I'm not sure. But they'll give them a fighting chance. So yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you all again in the next video. See ya.